these wonderful white walls here. Yeah. Actually, I can't not ask you uh, when is too much because I have been in many houses of artists mm -hmm. and they literally have it all over the space. Yeah. Like they, they try to use, because they receive a lot of gifts from their colleagues mm -hmm. or they mm -hmm. collect for themselves yeah. art pieces. And they're really trying to fit everything on the wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're using every little spot. Yeah. And still it doesn't look too much. It doesn't look kitschy or yeah. how you yeah, reach well, this balance. Just... That's the nice thing about um, when you have these huge white walls. Everything looks perfect on a white wall if you put enough space around it. But the same goes for black. That's one of the fun things I learned in uh, on art school is that when you... <laughs> I had a, a teacher over there and he was like, when you make something that is like, mm, and, and you're not really satisfied with the result, but yeah, you need to deliver anyway, because your customer is like, I want this painting or this interior design or whatever you make, put it on a black background because it works fantastic. <laughs> and then uh, you can actually play a bit with, um, uh, you could of course paint the whole uh, wall, which is quite heavy and can be really heavy in smaller rooms like this that's also because uh the reason why i don't have black in here but i actually yeah, have black in this uh, there, yeah? in this front room now it's very nice i will actually the topic, take yeah. the take the paintings with me uh, and here i played a bit with um with the black on the walls so for example here i only painted the corner um, because it was a room that was all white uh, and also uh, we have this white bookcase and really the books and the stuff that's in there, like the clock and some treasures from outside, they are really speaking, but then this felt like kind of a ballroom. So that's what you were just talking about. I think like, okay, most people buy their home and they start to fix things and they paint everything white. And then after this, you're like, okay, maybe we need some color here or there. <laughs> and that was also the case with this corner. Uh, and with making this angle over here, it actually um, closes the space a bit. So it doesn't feel as white and, and empty because that is, I think, what happens when you make everything white uh, and not trying to play a bit with uh, some color in your house. Uh, and this also really makes itself useful for uh, presenting art. So even some smaller works could be really nice over here to... Um, break the boundary a bit so make it a bit less uh hard um you could also place it in there and you <laughs> i think you can really see what i mean with everything looks great oh, on a black background so nice. it looks so expensive now yeah well you actually when you would put it over here in this corner <laughs> yeah that's just <laughs> they're completely it could lost. be there but they're really lost and now they are so you actually use this um um black corner to frame your art mm -hmm. in the space uh, oh, that's that's really so a <laughs> nice <Yeah>. trick <laughs> yeah and then we could go over there and here we were discussing that you have um, uh, wallpaper yeah right. and it, people should be brave to if if they don't want to paint it's totally fine just to place a white wallpaper yeah right yeah we also did that <laughs> over here it's not necessarily the wallpaper always to be with patterns flowers no, and no, stuff no no right? it could also be just part of the of the room and here it was um also really necessary because the wall was in very bad shape uh, and we were like, okay, are we going to spend money at some guy here totally fixing this wall <laughs> yeah. and not spending it on like, I don't know, a holiday or, yeah. a, or a new sofa or something we need or really like. Uh, so instead of that, uh, we put some wallpaper over here. And it, what's actually nice is that, that it has a little bit of structure. So yes. if you come close, it also gives, uh, that's the nice thing about wallpaper, I think, is that it, it gives some warmth to your room. Yes, um, exactly. especially when you combine it with some nice textiles or wood or textiles like this also work very nice. This it, one already reminds on the canvas for the yeah, painting, for yeah, example, yeah. that makes uh, the yeah, nice Yeah, it's also, trick. yeah, I think it's really comparable to each other. Like, do you paint directly on a canvas or do you paint on this sleek paper mm -hmm. or maybe on some metal uh, or even like wood or... it. It really makes all the difference and I think it's kind of, it's, it's the same in a room. 
different materials give different warmth yeah. and a different so feelings. So you were to a saying room. you combine this um, with the uh, curtains mm -hmm. and you pick this uh, color to not be too strong but still to have some color yeah. in it yeah and to be rather we will say neutral right yeah so it will yeah. not uh, steal from from the black um, accent no no it's still uh, i think it's it's still a color that's really balanced with um uh, with the black that is on the walls uh, and that's also something you're probably gonna see on the video later on is that uh, I used the same colors or uh, shades of colors in all the house because we have a lot of separate separate rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, most Dutch houses actually have like an L-shaped um, uh, ground plan with like the kitchen and the living room, uh, the kitchen in the front and the living room in the back and then the garden. And we have kind of an odd house. <laughs> we have a lot of uh smaller rooms that are divided against all the floors um and what worked really well is that you use the same color palette in every room and it doesn't have to mean that you have ex to use exactly the same color because here i have this blue yeah. greenish um but it's also in the chairs which is more of a gray variety and then it's also on the wallpaper in the hallway which is a darker green actually but still because it's in this grayish green it works as a red thread through the home and then upstairs we have a sofa in this color and then in the bathroom we have towels in this color so that really works uh yeah, now i see works that very it's actually well. a repetition of yeah. this uh, tone yeah i didn't notice yeah. before yeah <laughs> yeah but it's also it's like in nice. this so yes, this, yeah, exactly. this is actually second hand but we were like yeah this would fit in great <laughs> And now the blanket is over there for the dog, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just chilling over here. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, and this interesting solution with the carpets, like one above the other, yeah. And yeah. combining the carpets. I have seen this before in some designs and I guess it's your inside trick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tell your designers. Yeah, that's like something you just you just do oh, so on a cute. belly feeling. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's a, another yeah, example yeah. of displaying very, very small art in your home. <laughs> yeah. And in this case, it's just something from, from a magazine I, I, I ripped out and I was like, yeah, I really like it. Where should I? I should put it somewhere. Uh, black just really uh, makes thing, uh, anything with color stand out. But also just black with black and white works very well because it immediately becomes something super graphic. Uh, and now I've put these over here because I think this is uh, combining really nice with the colors in the accessories I already have. So this would be a great artwork to hang here on the wall. In the conversation before you were saying that always about the frames, mm -hmm. uh, like how those works are framed. Mm -hmm. uh, that they should always be something connected with the painting inside. Like yeah. repetition of the color yeah. with the, like in the hallway we had a case when you don't have the frame, mm -hmm. you have an empty glass yeah. and then it's much easier because it's almost invisible, yeah. the accent yeah, is Yeah, it makes it easier to blend content. in. Yeah. But once you have the frame, what is the trick and how to not uh, mess it up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the best tricks I think is to get some color from the painting in your frame so that always works very well also what is very nice about this i think is that you have this transition to the frame so it would really look different if you would have the frame directly on the white paper and now you have some kind of in between zone that that makes it softer to the to the wood but it's also nice with this one is that it actually is wood it would re really look different if you put it in a frame like this with a really abstract sh shape yeah. if you would put it in this high gloss black frame which also would fit but it, it gives it a bit more of a of a hard quality yes the hard colors not so soft and yeah not the so hard colors friendly. and the hard shapes are really coming out yeah. and then with this wood more of the the soft lines and the brown that's also in there is really strengthened with this frame so you could play a bit with the with the qualities of the painting you like the most and you could actually use the frame to choose what quality you would like to stand out and here i really like that it's the more natural colors and natural quality because you also have these dried flowers over here and some candles and when they are lit there is some fire there so it's really about the natural elements coming up front 
And if you would, for example, put um, this high gloss modern frame around it, um, it would be more logical for me to put only maybe an empty, a big empty shiny vase or something. So make it super modern and oh, then yeah. and then make it a real That's modern. Like yeah, that. yeah. So or maybe even a statue or something like that. Uh, to uh, at least some hard material or maybe even some some something other plastic mm -hmm. that would um, that would make it more logical when it's combined over here. When we were talking about the white wall mm -hmm. and there is the little lamp also as if we place because now here you have this plastic lamp and yeah. it's the shiny plastic yep, lamp right. mm -hmm. and then you can uh, put this somehow in the combination mm -hmm. with. Yeah then maybe it will be not so losing itself. Yeah. Like the, the other two were completely mm -hmm. disappearing. Yeah. But now yeah. I think okay. here it is also about yeah. size because, because this room is much bigger and really has this uh, square proportion. It asks for a bit bigger um, frames and artworks, I think. If you want to put something smaller in here, you need to group it like the small poster I put on there with the tape. It's together with the flowers and the candles. But if you put something on a wall like this in a more uh, square proportion and also a bit higher ceiling, I would at least take something of this dimension uh, and then still it needs something other to complete it because it, if it would be here all alone, it would still be kind of lost. Yeah. <laughs> then you, if it would be here all alone and you would just remove the lamp, then it, it really needs something bigger to be a part with this. Uh, but this could actually work, but then still you would need something over here, like because this is really this terracotta and the plant, ah, and yeah. it's really still very natural. So it would it uh -huh. would need something, yeah. uh, something hard and maybe uh, plastic or something designy and shiny to uh, to really make it work. Oh, this is so yeah. handy! Oh my god, it really makes a big sense of what actually I was struggling with in the house. Like, mm -hmm. okay, I play something somewhere and something doesn't fit yeah, so yeah. well. It, something is missing. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, still you choose... Uh, ah, even the ceiling is very interesting with the <laughs> pattern. It has a pattern. Yes, it does. Yeah, nice. Uh, still you choose this uh, very big size lamp uh, mm -hmm. for your office and yeah. still you have this rather old style mm -hmm. table. Yeah. So you are combining completely different styles at yeah. once. Yeah. And it's not Definitely. dangerous. No. <laughs> well it actually is kind of dangerous, but that's of course what's the fun in it. <laughs>